Okay, so now it's a new day, which means we start a new task. So, like I said, I've got my list of to-dos, and uh, I took care of the one last night with installing the valve and uh, putting my fittings inside the tanks. So, next is to remove this, this valance and go ahead and mark for my new uh, track for my curtains and then I'll get those installed then I'll be complete with my curtains and uh, we'll do another task so let's uh, take this off mark up for the new ones and get them installed first thing we're going to do is we're going to pop this rod out of here if I remember how it comes out It's like 30 degrees out, so we're keeping the heater on so it stays nice and warm in here, which uh, happens to be very comfortable right now. So in preparation for installing my, my track, uh, I'm going to come down about a half inch below this uh, window frame and strike my line. That's where the bottom rail is going to be. Then I'm going to come out about two inches from the window frame on the sides. That'll give me the length. So currently I need two pieces at 35 inches, one at top, one at bottom. I'll uh, install the bottom one, get my curtains ready, snap those in place, hold my curtain up, mark where I need the top rail, and then I'll install the top rail. That way I know that my curtains, uh, like these, are nice and tight. So when I open them up, they stay back really nice and neat. And uh, yeah, they just look good. Okay, let's get to cutting some metal. So we have the bottom track installed. Yeah, sorry about that light. Uh, bottom track is installed and uh, looking good. Now we need to get the curtains ready and install the top one and then we can just snap the curtains in place and we'll be good to go.
Well, I think we're going to call that a wrap for this video. So we did uh, accomplish a couple things off of our list. Uh, the valve and uh, the fittings in the tank. We got rear curtain hung, tightened all the other curtains up. So uh, one at a time, we're slowly getting there. Uh, I still have quite a few things that I need to get done. And uh, I think tonight I'm going to be shopping for an inverter. And uh, I think the one that I'm going to be looking for is the Xantrex. Um, I was thinking about the Ames inverter, but um, eh, some of the reviews didn't sound so promising and everybody seemed to be steering towards the Xantrex. So I think that's what I'm going to go with. <coughs> A 2000 watt inverter. I already have the uh, PowerMax converter and we'll be installing that under the bench seat and running all of our lines and making sure that uh, we have off-grid power when we're all said and done. So uh, when this thing is finished we're going to stock this up with some uh, some <laughs> dehydrated food I think and uh, be ready for uh, any kind of emergency. So with that I'll give you one shot around and we'll call that uh, a wrap and uh, hey Thanks for staying tuned. So just a real quick glance at uh, what we've got done. Front curtain is tightened up. Looks really nice. Uh, side curtain over here. I really like how they're turning out. Uh, can't say uh, enough good things about the sail right. Slide tracks make your curtains and uh, hang those up. They work perfect. And uh, it just looks good. So I think it's all coming together really well. And uh, yeah. So we still have some trim work that I need to get done on the ceiling, a couple of strips on the back wall. We've got some uh, trim work that we need to do around the counter and around the face of our microwave and uh, refrigerator and then install uh, some more electronic components. At this point, uh, I'm not keeping track of the cost because probably way exceeded my budget, especially with all the electronic stuff. But when you go solar uh, and off grid, it does tend to cost quite a bit. So that is uh, where we stand today. So once again, I'd like to say thank you uh, for those who have uh, subscribed. Appreciate that very much. Enjoy the comments. And uh, please like the channel. Keep watching. Um, more things to come. Pretty soon we'll be starting on a, another project. Once this is finished, we take it out, have a few adventures. And uh, I don't know. I may or may not keep this one. We'll see what happens. So, till then, I'll see you next time.